Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to Let's Play Timberborn. I'm Seven Foot Dust Bunny, and today we're going to be looking at water farming. Now, first thing, for the eagle eyes of you who spotted, I did put the water tower in the wrong place before, and it wasn't connected. In between episodes, I fixed that, and I fixed the alignment here. So that should all be good. Hopefully... I still haven't worked out why these aren't getting taken down. It's frustrating me greatly. I'm not quite sure what the issue is. I've added a couple of extra houses. Um, just purely because I'm wondering if it's a labor problem. So I have added extra housing. I've got oodles of science and I'm just ignoring the science so I'm thinking to unlock some of these things like these triple lodges and these lodges and see whether they're like look check this out you see I could put this thing like here somewhere I don't quite know how you get to the other level though I, I'm guessing it needs like a ladder or something to get up to it because yeah it's got like an upper level ladder thing so that one's not going to go there, that one, uh, this one is. And I wanted to also try, under the decoration, there was um, some roofs. So I was going to try slapping a roof on some of these, because it seems like roofs help make them happy. Um, I was keeping an eye on the old happiness thing here, and we've got had 55 have access to shrines. Um, 60 are seeing the labor monument thingamy jiggy. Um, so there's a few decoration things I would like to sort of start trying to do. Like a beaver statue. Can we put a beaver statue somewhere? Like there? Is that going to be good? Uh, pass. I would think somewhere with a lot of foot traffic would actually be better. Um, not quite sure where that is though. Don't know. Um, so not sold on quite the beaver statue yet, but um, hmm. There's a few sort of decorational things I could do here. I actually think that wouldn't be so bad because there's a lot of traffic around this area. So we could actually turn it that way so he faces the road. We'll put that beaver statue right there. Speaking of which, this area here is probably going to need some as well. There's two vacancies and zero unemployed. Um, so I am thinking for the housing here. Again, at the moment, I'm not quite sure about this. Um, doesn't seem to quite work how I would have liked. I mean, and this huge one. I like it, don't get me wrong, I like it. I just need to figure out how I'm going to quite use it. Um, I'm thinking, you, you know, I could put that in here. Um, in fact, um, in fact, I'd like to put it there. And then I could probably put like a recreational area on top. Let's try that. I'm going to get rid of this. It says, um, oh, that's not going to line up though, is it? If I put, oh, uh, if I put a ladder here, here, will that get them access? I mean, is that going to not get them access? Is that going to be really lame? And not work how I want it to? Am I going to have to rearrange this path to go round like this? Yes, I am. That kind of sucks. I, I thought this was a nice little like walkway all the way along, but it's kind of like a balcony thing that doesn't quite work how you would expect. So. I need to do that. And then, decoratively speaking, I'm going to put a shrub or a beaver statue down here. 
I'm going to stick a shrub down here. I don't know why. just seems like a good idea. So I think that's where we're going to go with that one. Um, and then I'll just put some standard houses here at the top and I'll stick some roofs on top of them. Um, and this should give me extra beaver power so to speak apologies I'm getting um, messages and then on top of this I will I will I will put some more roofs here so decoration roof yoink 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 and then I mean, I was tempted to put a roof here, but I think if I put the path thing uh, too high, like right here and right there, I can then put one of these leisure areas right there. And then that would make that very beaver happy making. Because they don't have a lot of leisure on this side of things, I've realized as well. I really should be doing more leisure on this side of things to, to make more happy beavers. Um, in fact, I'm going to delete that one and that one. And um, yeah, for now, I'm going to put the actual wire there. And that will give more leisure on this side. And hopefully, there we go. Folk, we've unlocked the iron teeth already. So that's kind of swish. We've managed to get enough happiness going on to get that going. This still has not fixed itself. I don't know what is going on. Apologies, little jump cut there. Uh, things were going off. There were lots of messages and I had to step away for a bit, but I'm back now. And uh, I can see we're pumping the trees look like they're getting going that one doesn't look like it's gonna grow but that's okay this guy is planting out here i still don't know why these aren't working and we're gaining lots of food we've got quite a lot of water backed up which is really good um and i think we're about ready to see about this water farm lark. Okay, so farm. Aquatic farmhouse. Oh, we've got a drought coming in in three days. Great time to start an aquatic farmhouse. Okay. Construct this like too far from builders. So, but the aquatic farmhouse, does it actually go underwater or does the aquatic farmhouse need to be employ specialized farmers that can plant and harvest aquatic crops okay but do i put it like down here or or do i put it up on like a set of stilts here in the water so as it can work in the water i'm gonna try just building a set of struts here a second just to see if I can actually get it to build like on on them above the water because that would actually seem yeah not unreasonable and you don't actually want the building itself surely to be completely underwater and then what I can do is I can put a set of steps down in like so and that will allow my farmers to go down into the water and I can even stick one on the other side so they don't have to swim around so you like like that now crop wise what are we talking about aquatic crops here there are spider dock and cattail So how does this work? Do I just stick them in here? Okay. So let's 
stick them in like that and see if that works. So spader dock, that, that was spader dock or cattail? Um, it doesn't actually tell me. I only guess that was cattail. And then I'm going to put a bunch of speeder dock down here. And then... I don't know how much space I can sort of take up with this. So I'll we'll start off with... With that. I think that's reasonable for the one sort of building. I mean, according to this, it can do a massive area. It can do this whole area. Which we might end up doing. I might end up putting a second one down, like, around here somewhere to help out. But this looks kind of cool. So what we're probably going to want up here as well is some sort of storage building um, to help store all that. Because, I mean, that's not too stacked up on things now. I mean, we've still got plenty there. Um... But I feel like we should have another storage pile nearby. That's a log pile. Um, that's too big. What were these? I, I, I saw this the the other, earlier. This thing, a hauling post. Apparently, this is useful. So far, I haven't used one at all anywhere at all. I don't know. But I don't know what it's what it really does. It just says haulers assist workers with with a di district. Sorry, within a district in carrying goods, greatly increasing their productivity. So I don't know. Part of me seems to think I should probably stick one around here somewhere. So if I stick one like around here, is that going to work? I guess. If you stick it there, how far does it reach? It does reach all the way down to the lower levels. So, I mean, part of me is looking at this fertile ground and thinking, hmm, I should probably put something on the fertile ground to make use of the fertile ground, you see. So if I put it there, it does reach all the way out, so I might as well put it there. And it reaches a bit closer this way. And I'm actually going to extend these potatoes out into here as well. We have got... I mean, we've obviously got a lot less berries. But we got a shed ton more potatoes and carrots going on. Things are... Things are looking good, I reckon. Um, not quite sure why those aren't done. Are they out of range? Oh, they're out of range of the farm. That's a problem. Okay. That explains that. I need to... Right, I need to sacrifice these three crops, I think, to move this farm over. Um... I think that's going to have to be the way it's going to going to have to go. So I'm going to get rid of those, and you, sir, are going to be replaced by this guy, and you're going to get deleted. Sorry. And that should cover that area then, and get those growing because there's more growing squares there which I'll gain than I lost. I didn't actually show you guys, but um, look, we got our big labourer statue here. Uh, I don't like the way the game does that. Um, we got a big labourer statue. If we can grab this, can we tilt around it? No. That's my big beaver labourer statue right there. And whenever you click on it, they go, wow. And then you've got the little la be beaver statue here, which is cool. My drought is incoming in 4.2 days. Um, I'm a bit worried what that means for this. Because they're still growing at present. 
Um, not quite sure why these go around. <laughs> What's going on there? Why is it a circle? I, I have been tempted to raise this level here, across here, and raise this water level level up. Because then, especially um, given these, I mean, I can do it anyway with here. I can drop this levee um, or this double floodgate a level and provide some extra water. Because at the moment, obviously, we're dammed off. But as this water starts to dry up, I can start to try and deal with that. Now, in other news, I think I'm going to need another pump here. I think I'm going to have to have another pump. So I might have to delete that one right there. Um, which would require this one. Yoink. There we go. And then I'm going to have to get another pump. I think with the growing population and the growing numbers, I'm going to need extra pumpage going on. There you go, he's off to get rid of that one. And there we go. Oh. Why can't I put that there? Oh, because I've got it the wrong way round, like a fool. Here we go. And I can put in a path. And what can we put in in the way of decoration? There you go. That'll do. Um, can I unlock a bench? Can I put a bench in? And put a bench in. Why not? And how about as this area gets a lot of traffic, we can put a beaver statue here. Try and keep our beavers happy. What is this? This building has no path. And isn't connected to any district. What would you... Oh. I see exactly what you're talking about. I had not noticed that. It has, uh, People have probably been like shouting at me in the comments like why are you blind why can you not see this there you go problem, problem solved so we're actually full on wood here we are completely almost completely full on wood wow we need to be shipping more wood over here because we are out of wood how can we increase what we ship um Hang on a second. Distribution limits. Like logs. High, let's have 500. Low is 100. That is 100. Enter. There we go. So you have none. That's fine. You're not distributing stuff there. So your distribution limits there. Hang So, how can we, if I add, do I need to add more beavers to distribution here to try and move this up? Because your distribution limit log-wise is, yeah, you've got loads. So, I, th I think I've done that correctly. Do let me know if I haven't. Uh, that's just saying that building is full, isn't it? Yeah, that's confusing me. But hopefully, that's going to move more wood over this way. Because I want it to be bringing in more wood. So, district distribution limit. Yeah. So, low resources, below this... Uh, hang on. Below this limit are not carried out from a district and are prioritized by incoming distributors. High resource limits, limits above this limits, are not carried into into a district. Fair enough. 
So what it should be doing is prioritizing sending logs across. Now we've got six working in there. Um, we can click prioritize by haulers because I believe we've got some haulers now. Um, now we could do the same here. We could get some haulers on the go over here as well. Um, not quite sure where we're going to put the haulers here. I mean, I'm not even sure what that's doing right now. In fact, in fact, that's not a bad plan. If I get rid of this piece of road and this piece of road, I think a hauling hut will fit in there. See, perfect. What more could you ask for? So that should help move things around. And it should help. get all those bits going. Now, here we have a one vacancy. We're in the right district, right? One vacancy and six empty beds. So our population is still expanding at present, which is fine and dandy. Um, so if I added another couple of beaverunos to the list, we've got four vacancies apparently for unemployed I don't quite know how that worked because we had no unemployed this is now going up here yes yes so that should expand this out and should keep the food coming in I mean the food is still coming in the drought has just ended so here comes the water I mean again this has kept some of this running not that it appears to have done a lot for us, I don't know why. I must have either missed them planting it or whatever. But it does seem to have kept things running. I mean, I didn't see anyone die of... Oh. I didn't see anyone die of lack of water or lack of food or anything. One building lacks materials, unable to get all required materials. Which building is this? Grill. Um, do you mean you have no chestnuts? Yeah. I've got a feeling I can't cut these. I'm going to take these back off the cut thing. I still haven't established whether it's a good idea to cut these or not. Um, it seems like the answer is or not because um, you don't seem to bring in the uh, the resources anywhere near as much because I haven't had that message before so uh, let's go to wood chopping unmarked cutting area so all of this is going to get unmarked for cutting um, and all the way down here is going to be unmarked for cutting there we go and for some reason these trees here on the corner have never been marked for cutting so we might well might add those to the marked for cutting list there we go and and this is maxing here we'll stick with tree there as well I still don't understand what's going on here. Because these trees are not getting... Um, how do I unmark this for destruction? That one? There we go. So, this is a maple tree. It's watered and alive. It's got maple syrup on it. It does not appear to be being collected even though it's within the collection zone. I don't have here on my list anywhere maple syrup. And we'll go and make another bakery and test this out, I think. Um, I should be looking at this as well, beehive. Let's unlock a beehive and work on that too. Um, so... 
we'll put this we'll put this one in. And you should be able to get wood, hopefully. We are shipping some wood over, aren't we? I mean Are we shipping wood over? We seem to be full everywhere. What is going on? So why are we not shipping logs over? I don't understand. I don't understand why... I mean, it should all be shipping this way. There's... there's this place is crying out for wood. So, because this is choose destination drop-off point, it must be a different distribution post. That's fine. I've already done it. So what if I add a, a second distribution of logs? Can I add logs as a second distribution again? And do it again? And say, look, just send all the logs. Lots of logs. Major priority on logs. I don't know if that's working. Oh, this is this is watered alive and ready to harvest. So one thing I did want to do was possibly get another storage nearby. Um, maybe not a huge storage, just because size and things. But it looks like you know, even a small storage is not going to fly for it. So I might as well slap a big storage down. Um. I don't know. We're 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 all right for the time being. Because this area, I'm not sure. For this area, it seems to come out. I mean, obviously things will change once this metal's removed. But I might be able to extend my tree area this way significantly, um, which is tempting. But we now have, so we now have cattail roots. How do I turn that into cattail crackers? I think that's an important thing to look at. So somewhere here we have like, that's a steel mill. Um, that's a gear workshop, lumber planks. See, this is the other thing I could be doing up here. I could be making some planks, couldn't I? That's, that's something I should probably be doing. So we should probably have... Um, let's uh, rotate this. If I put that there, we could have some gears. And... A couple of lumber mills, like so. I could probably says. I mean, I, I've got the science. Why not? Let's have the large windmill. I can put the large windmill right here. Okay. Cool. Um. I can put a large windmill there, and that should be providing 400, and this needs, I think this needs 50, 50, 120. So that still leaves me with the ability to do more. So you know, I could do, uh, but gears takes planks, doesn't it? Yes, here's takes planks, so I would need extra planks and things to make that, so... And I, I, to be honest, I could be starting off with things like power and printing presses and all sorts. I haven't gone that far yet. This is all, all way beyond where I've, where I've been thus far. Um, so I'm tempted to do that because I want to really step up the sort of thing here. 
Now, I reckon that would actually work if I put in the doobie firkin here. Let's see if that will work. Oh, we do have some logs here now. A few logs, just a few. Now, put that there. Can I make... Right, if I make another gear workshop... Um, is this going to be overkill or underkill or not enough kill or whatever? We'll see. I might regret this yet. But we'll do that. Hopefully that's going to work. I'm hoping. I mean, this has no power. Probably because my beaver probably can't get to it. So if I delete this for now, let's see if he can get to that. And then maybe if I put a path there, he'll go to it. And then I'll delete the path later. Now, go make this. What are we missing? Oh, you're missing paper. Ooh. <laughs> Crap. Um. Yes. Paper. Paper, paper, paper. Um, 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 um. It was here a minute ago. Paper. Unlock the paper. Um. Paper. So we're going to need gear, planks, logs, and power again to make pa papier. Um, now I'm going to hope this takes what? This takes 190. How much can it supply? This can supply 190. Um, okay, that kind of sucks. That's probably not enough. This is applying. This needs 120. Papier needs 80. So, my thought is can I put Papier here? And I can put. Um, if we go to power, I can probably run it down this way as well and take extra that way and hopefully that will work and that will start that off that way um, because then I can probably upgrade some of these windmills over here to provide extra power then later on and stick another windmill out here that's like the big one like that Then once that one gets made, I can tap it into all of this. Because all this goes out as like full power distribution. With added power along the way. So we are turning logs into paper. That is good. Um, I will probably want to do the same over here somewhere, so let's start off by making one of these there. And then I can put a paper mill here. Yeah, put a paper mill here for the minute. We can always change it later. Put the paper mill there. And then what I'll need to do is get the power distribution on. So I'll need it to go that way and that way. Um, which is which ways? That way, like so. And then I can plug you in there. Go, my beaverish friends! Go, go! Yay! Paper, 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 paper. And this didn't appear to dry out, so nothing appeared to, to die here, which is sweet. Um, so we're building up the whole cattail thing, so I need to look back at what this is. So I, I was assuming the whole reason I came over here in the first place and got confused about the whole paper thing was... Um, 
because I was looking for, I mean, this is science. I was looking for, 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 for somewhere here. There's like a grinder. There's someone who does the Yeah, it's still working just. Yeah, it should well, it should start getting paper soon. Somewhere here, sorry, there's a mill. Here it is. Gritsmith Gritsmith. So he can be done. But he needs power as well. You see, so he's gonna need power of the juice. Um So, hmm, the grits mill is also going to need power. So let's put that, um, yeah, this one. There you go, grits mill. Typically, it's awkwardly shaped and positioned, which is unfortunate. Um, so this one is now up and running. So what I'm probably going to do is actually you can do this and get rid of that. Yes. And can I put the grits mill here? I can. Now he should line up and it should just pass through buildings fine no problem he says it should in theory I shouldn't have problems with that the only issue obviously is when there's no wind like there is now you've not got what you need to get things going what it wouldn't hurt to do is if I had some more bloody logs on this side. There's not enough logs. Not enough logs. And on this side you've got 30 logs. Which isn't awful. It's better. Still haven't got rid of those. Don't know what's going on. Food's going. Food's happening. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling relatively happy about our expansion so far. This has worked like an absolute dream. Um, I mean, to be quite honest, I'm thinking of putting another strip of fat in a bit further along there, if you don't mind. And another couple of strips of that in. There you go. Oh. That, that is not what I wanted to do. There we go. And we've got a grits mill. Yes, you've got no recipe. That's no problem. Um, we need you to make cattail flour, which you should have access to cattail, so that shouldn't be a problem either. It should start making that. And then what the hell do I make with this cattail stuff? Um, I'm just going to flick through here, grow chestnuts. Right, so grilled sp spider dock is one thing. So I can, I can do that just straight off the bat here. I can make grilled spader dock. That's right. Um, do, 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 do. Grill we need a grill so we want grilled speeder dock now I'm gonna put um do I put it like that tell you what I am gonna put it like that so path right here path please path at least down here for now and you're going to make grilled speeder dock. Right. So that's going to add some variety of food and excitement. Once we have this ground 
Power flower, though, we need like a baker or something to deal with that. But would you look at the time? Um, that is going to have to be it for this episode. But with this big win, I think I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe as always, and join us again next time when we'll be making some something with cattail. I don't know. Okay, thanks a lot.